Hey guys, Titus here, and today I'm bringing you a pattern test with Rob Roberts' new Raptor Series Chokes. I'll be using my 20 gauge Franke Affinity 3 paired with Heavy Bismuth. The target I'm using is a 12 by 18 splatter target, which is the same size target that I use when I do the Mallard ones. No, I'm not going to be able to track the flyers that come out of the shell, but I'll get what I want. All shots taken in this video will be from 30 yards. Reason being, almost every choke looks pretty good at 20, let's be honest. I'm also not going to be doing 40 yards. It's very rare that we're actually shooting ducks at 40 yards. And you say, yeah, I do that quite often. Well, to be honest with you, put a mallard silhouette or a target up at 40 yards and step it off. You'll be surprised how far that looks. It's very rare that we're actually shooting that far. So I'm going to be testing all of the chokes of the new Raptor series from Rob Roberts except the turkey choke. So I'll be doing the R1, the R2, the R3, the biz and stay till the end for kind of a bonus shot. I'm gonna actually do uh, one shot with the Heavy 12 and the TSS choke. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that I did get to meet Rob Roberts at the 2023 Delta Waterfowl Expo, and he did a short interview with me on our podcast, The MVM Show. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. And he explained why he came out with this line of chokes. So if you wanna find more information out about that and why he did this line, go to our podcast, The MVM Show. You can find it on any platform that does podcast. Check that out and he'll explain why he did that. He's also gonna be coming on again very soon after this video to go more in depth and a lot longer podcasts. So let's get started. All right guys, now we're gonna go ahead and start out with the biz choke first. Heavy bismuth, three inch, six shot. All right, now we're going to try the R1. Time to try out the R2. All right, now we're going to try the R3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't you know? Last but not least, Heavy 12 with the TSS Rob Roberts choke. Hey. This gun's shooting high, I need to shim this thing. Maybe that's been my problem this whole time with this gun. So this is where you wish you had the big paper because now we're going from an issue of my gun shooting high, which I never felt like this 20 gauge did, but I was also sitting down in a chair, resting on a chair, so I don't know if that was fair analogy of this. I maybe should have been standing with shooting sticks. Either way, I had a very solid rest, and most of my, all my hits were high. So anyways, this was the, the Biz 1 choke, and I had 106 hits on this 12 by 18 paper. Again, these are the size of the duck targets that I use, so same exact size. You just don't get to visualize it uh, deal, but I'm really thinking I got to shim my gun So maybe this is a good thing. I feel like I shot it right with my 20 gauge But I definitely feel like it could be better and now I'm wondering if I've been over shooting over top of the ducks a lot This was the definite the best pellet count at 30 yards. I had was with the biz choke Now I'm gonna show you something here in a second that I feel like looked better it, it had about six less pellets but I felt like it was a cleaner pattern. And now I'm wondering what's up here, you know what I mean? So I might have to do another video. I feel like it's fair just to say this was the first one and just post this one. But anyways, that's the first shot with the biz choke with the heavy biz. This is the second one. Again, I probably shot high, but I mean, that's a pretty good looking pattern in my opinion, especially for this small of a paper at 30 yards. But that was like 20 less pellets. Now we start with the R one okay now this is the r1 choke but that's a lot more of an open choke at 30 yards so it's not bad for you know and i'll, I'll put i'll put up on the screen what this is supposed to be considered this is the r2 which ain't bad but you can tell again my shot's high okay the next one's kind of almost my favorite looking one but there's not as many pellets in the table this is the r3 and i think this one actually looks really good I feel like that one just looks the best. But again, with that gun, with that load, that one just works best, you know? 
I don't feel like really a lot of shots high. I just feel like it's there. But so anyways, that's that one. And then last but not least, this is that heavy 12. And look how tight that is. That's crazy. That shows how tight that choke is. Again, at 30 yards. Again, it's high. So I guess, you know, I didn't really get to see what this chokes did per se. Like that's what I was really here for was the goal. But I've never did real much of a pattern testing with this Franke Affinity Elite 3. So now I'm like, well, guess what? I got to go home and shim this gun. So I really want, I don't mind being like 40, 60 high, but I do not want to be that high. I mean, that's, that's the majority of the patterns up there. So nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, go check out our podcast. Um, he's been on the podcast, Rob himself. They're at the Delta Waterfowl event. He's going to be coming on the podcast for a full hour long. Audio will even be a lot better. It wasn't the greatest on that one. But I think you'll enjoy the MVM show and what goes on there. Also, I will be shimming my gun. And if I can before season, because the season starts like right around the corner, I'm going to try to get back out here and do it one more time and maybe get two or three pieces of 40 by or four foot by four foot paper out here just to get the full thing and see if I dial it in a little bit more. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm still very happy with the chokes. And each choke is for a specific purpose, right? And like I said, the best, um, the most amount on paper was the biz with the heavy bismuth. So I think I'm gonna stick with that one. I was really happy with the R3. It looked good, but that might've just been that one shot. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>